creating notes inside of notebook. It's time to add some notes to one of our pages here. I'm going to return back to OGC Travels Notebook. So when I click on it, you can see that my last section is called Process. I can simply click anywhere inside of this page and start typing in some notes. And when I do, this little box here is expanding as I type. I can resize this box, this little notes page area. I can move it by uh, grabbing, um, putting, positioning my mouse on top of that lip at the top, and so on. Once I've highlighted this content here, I can certainly go up to my home tab in the basic text group and format the text to any font uh, character, font size, and uh, bold, underline, and font color, some of which um, is very familiar to you, I know, because you've used this, let's say, in Word, some of these um, formats for your, your fonts. That's what's so cool about OneNote. You don't need to create a text box before you type. You can just click anywhere and start typing, and a box is going to be created for you. You can undo to take out characters by, by using the control Z. It's so easy to place notes on your page. You can scroll down by using the scroll bar and again start typing and you've got some content on your screen. I'm going to remove one of the existing boxes here by simply hovering over it and then when I've got the four-headed arrow I click and I can press delete on my keyboard to remove that box. Let's do the same for this one here as well. When I click over to About Us, I'm going to type in some content here. I started to type in some content here, and when I'm typing, you can see how the box continues to expand. What can I do to, to view the box? Well, I can certainly change my zoom if I like, or I can scroll uh, from left to right or top to the bottom. I'll click on the View tab on the ribbon, and let's say choose 100%. Then I can view more content on my screen as I'm, as I'm scrolling here. So again, if you've got word processing skills or any data input skills, you can work with OneNote with ease and just simply move around your content, format your content by highlighting portions of that um, information and working with the Home tab and any of the basic text formats. I can quickly create a table if I like as well. So when I type in a new um, container here for my notes, let's say uh, I type in one word and I press tab, you can see how I already have a new column with a partition here in between. And as I continue to press tab, a whole new column is created. My table tools layout tab comes in view and when I bring it forward, I've got Similar, similar to Word, I can delete columns and rows or, or insert above, below, left or right any of my rows. Once I click outside, you can see how I've got the borders around my table. Can I format my table? Well, we're rather limited in uh, the, the commands for formatting tables, but you certainly can copy and paste a table from Word and place it in here and all of the formats that are associated with that table in Word will be um, uh, coming to life here inside of the OneNote page. I can at least hide my borders if I don't want any borders. So in my Table Tools Layout tab, I can click on Hide Borders and no longer do I see those borders there. Click on it again and of course the borders are in view. One more comment about tables. I can create a table by going to insert on my ribbon and then in the tables group choose the table command and then I can uh, do a 2 by 4 table for example by sliding down here with my mouse or I can click on insert table and decide how many columns or rows I want. And there we have our table. I'm going to take out these tables that I've created. So I highlight this table and I press delete and then working with that four-headed arrow, I highlight this table and press delete. 